Hey everyone, it's John Azarez here from The Automator, and this is just a fun little resizable GUI we came up with that you should have in your library, and then often we need to look at text, right? So why go we create a GUI over and over, so why not have something that you can easily change, like the background color, or the font color, or the font size, the where it appears, if you have multiple, or if you want to resize it, these are all parameters in a function, and the beautiful thing is just a function, it's really simple to update, so I just want you to do a couple of examples here. All right, so here, as you can see, um, we have a few comments there. Don't worry about those. But this is how you use the function. Now, the first parameter here, the only thing that it tells me is whether I could, I, I should close the previous instance of that or not. I'm going to start with the zero there. The data is just a piece of text that I want to put there. And the next one here is kind of like the title of the window. Those are the the most the, the, the things that you're going to be changing the most you don't have to have a variable in here it's just a string so but we will have it for something else you will see yeah the, now, those that's just there for the examples so people can exactly so you can know what it is right but at this point when i run this so when i run it i get a gui like this and basically as the name suggests first of all we have a title out here we have our text down here but as the name suggests this is resizable which in certain situations might come in extremely handy. It is just in cases, for example, instead of using a message box with some text, maybe you want to put it on a GUI that is resizable and you can scroll up and down if there's a lot of text. Well, and speaking of which, Isaias, because the one that burns me all the time is with a message box, you can't control where it shows up. It's gonna be show, yeah, that's right. So basically with this function, which creates the GUI for you and everything, you have other parameters, not only the title and the date and so on, but the X and Y locations, the do the width and height, and the font color, sorry, the font that you're gonna use, the font color, the font size and everything else. So there's a lot of things that you can change with it. And for example, in this case, let's go ahead and put a sleep. So we're gonna display this one for two seconds and then we're gonna kill it because the next one has a one in it. It's gonna kill the previous one. And then the second GUI is gonna have, you know, not only is gonna have different text and titles, but they are gonna be on a different location, different size and different colors, right? So let's go ahead and try that. I just run it. The first one is white. And then the second one is blue, as you can see. So it, you have a little bit more flexibility. And again, this is resizable. So you can just go ahead and take a look at what the text is. And basically, if I want, I can keep them both at the same time. In, instead of killing the previous one, I could run the same thing and now I have one white and now it's going to show the other one over here. So it's really flexible in that sense. And again, if you have a lot of text, a message box is going to be annoying. Why not display it in a GUI? Well, because I don't want to be writing a GUI every single time, right? But this function is great because I, I can just include it in my library, right? So this is the function. And you can save this file in um, uh, in your library, just say include resizable GUI. And now in your code, whenever you're gonna show a lot of data, say you were scraping data and now you have a lot of data and you want to see what the data was, instead of putting it in a message box that you cannot scroll, you cannot control where it is, put it in with this function and you just pass the variable with it. So right oh. here, I have my text. Or, or let's say you pass something variable. and you want it to be on a different screen. Right, you right. should be able to use these coordinates to get it over. To right, that. you can actually put this on the other screen if you wanted to. So it's really flexible. It's really easy to do. It's not, um, and and very really simple to use. It's just hey, do I want to kill the previous one? What is the data that I want to look at and the title? And if I want more options, yeah, the location, colors, right. and so on. So really cool. So yeah, if uh, you enjoyed that. Oh, by the way, we have courses on. Uh, GUIs. This is in V2, so we have intro to GUIs. And I'm sorry, GUIs are easy in both right. V1 and V2, but they truly are easier in V2. Uh, they're all objects. But if you want to learn more about GUIs, it's a great course for you. Please like the video if you learned something here. It really helps us out. And uh, have a great day. Cheers. Bye, guys.